boys and girls. Uh, it's time for another episode of The Ghetto Gourmet. Just dropped my son off at school, so he already had his breakfast. I come home, it's time to make mine. So you're going to say, uh, Fat Man, what you going to make for breakfast? It's all ghetto style. Well, I'm going to tell you. I am going to make fried hot dog sandwiches. You know, Hot dogs is like freaking steak in the ghetto, or, or no, I wouldn't say steak. It's more like the uh, maybe pork chop or chicken in the ghetto. There's a lot you could do with hot dogs, ghetto fabulous style. So let's get started. Let's reach down here and get my frying pan. Your old frying skillet, put it on that burner, start getting it hot. What you're gonna do next is you're gonna get you uh, some butter or margarine, get a spoon. Oh, I'm gonna just get a little bit, grease that old pan up. Burn hot dogs. And all that goodness, you don't you don't waste that goodness. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Feel the arteries hardening. Throw that in the sink. Put away the old margarine. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get your bar s jumbo hot dogs. The only time you use the jumbo is when they're on sale because uh otherwise they're expensive. Get the regular ones anywhere from 88 cents to a dollar a pack. So you're gonna uh, I already have another pack open here, so I'm gonna finish those off. So we're gonna uh Get four hot dogs. Throw this here pack away. All right. What you're gonna want to do here? Just basically split your hot dog right down the middle. Bam! Just like that. Shake up this butter before it starts. Uh, Getting all crazy on me. I don't want to burn it. Definitely don't want to burn the butter. And a little fire. Let that go fire a little bit. Let that heat get down. I don't want to get it too uh, crazy just yet. And that'll finish melting down. But let me, meanwhile, let me finish splitting these here hot dogs right down the middle. Split them right down the middle. That's what you want to do. But leave them connected. That way, it makes it easier when you're trying to get them out, flip them and stuff. All right, so I got them all cut in half. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about here. 
See, I got the old hot dogs Aruskis uh, split in half there, but I left them connected to where be easier to, to flip and this, that, and the other when you're cooking. All right, so let's get this butter here. I, I used a little too much butter, so let's just get that all melted up. All right, what we're gonna do is take these old hot dogs here. Throw them in the old pan. Ah, I did them the wrong way. Let's do them rounded side down first. Rounded side down first. That way when you flip them, they got the flat side down and then it's all good. All right, wash my hands right quick. Bring up that heat. Hands washed, nice and dry, and bring the heat back up. Get me a fork for easy flipping. Alright, now what you're going to do is you're going to get your plate. Get your four slices of bread because I'm making enough for two sandwiches. And the condiments you're going to use on this go around, you're going to use the staple, mayonnaise, ketchup, and your mustard. So they're starting to sizzle now. So while they are uh, starting to sizzle, what I want to do is I want to give them a little a dose of salt. A little dose of pepper. A little more pepper than salt because I like mine. And you gotta get your Tony Satries up in there. And I'll need the same thing for the other side when I flip them. Alright. Let's move them around so they don't burn up. This does not take long to cook at all. Alright, so while that's still going, blow that flame just a little bit. Let's get this little mayonnaise on here first. Mayonnaise goes on all four pieces of bread. Move this out the way so you can see. Mayonnaise goes on all four slices of that bread there. I'm going to waste that. Alright. So we got the mayonnaise all up. Mayonnaise the bread up. Nice, generous, even coat all over. Mm -hmm. Don't want to waste that little extra. Alright, now the mustard is only going to go on the bottom pieces of bread. Make a nice little circle. Nothing half ass circle there. But anyway, you make your little circle there. You do the bottom with that. Don't want to waste that. And the ketchup is going to go on the top like that. Let me check these hot dogs here. Now they're starting to... They are starting to uh, crisp up just nicely. I'm going to get a nice little score on them. And you just want to put a little, little pepper. Same thing you put on the other side, a little bit of salt. A little bit of Tony Saturides. And also on the top, what you're going to want to do, once you flip them the first time, because you only want to put a little bit of this, so you're only going to do one side. 
put their garlic powder. All right, now the top side of your bread, where you're gonna to want to go with your ketchup. All right, so then you let's spread your ketchup out. Mustard on the bottom, ketchup on the top. Mm. With the goodness. Throw that in the sink. Get this up out the way. Now, when your dogs are almost done, like they are, what you want to do is get you some good old sliced American cheese. Again, I wish I had government cheese. Because uh, government cheese is, uh, to me, it, it, it's 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 a better uh, it's a better cheese. Now, now all you want to do is you want to see one, two, three, four. There you go. Cover your dogs enough to where that cheese starts melting. Cover all your dogs. That's why you need you need to do four slices only because it's. I could probably get away with doing three if I break it up, but then eh, it's too much like work. I just overlap a little bit of it. Let that uh, melt on top, and you'll be good to go. Meanwhile, put all your condominiums away. It's always good to use condominiums when you're cooking because you want to save food. What is that? Condoms. I don't know. Condoms, condominiums, you know the drill. Alright, put the, the other hot dogs back in the fridge. Or as my mama used to call it, the old, my mama used to call it the old ice box. Alright, here. So this is melting up, this cheese is melting up just nicely. Alright, we got a little difficulties here. These two overlap the wrong wrong way there. So you can hear them hot dogs sizzling up. Just need this cheese to melt a little bit better and we'll be good to go. Might need that old spatula to get them out of there now. Since the cheese has locked them all together. In front of the old spatula. There we go, the small spatula should work. You take your group of four. Put them on there. This cheese melts a little better. The group before, turn off your fire. Take the old pan over to the to the uh, sink. Run a little water in it so nothing sticks. In the sink, and let me show y'all this here. And there you go. Your fried hot dogs with cheese, and you're gonna just cover your bread like so. Put y'all back over here for a second. Now, the only thing left to do is you guessed it, put it in your mouth. Alright, so now that we've got everything plated up and cooked, only thing left to do is sit down at this uh, glorious coffee table where I eat 
99.9% of my meals when I'm at home. And uh, find something to put on the tube and enjoy this fried hot dog sandwich. Let's see how good this is. The bread's nice and soft, so it's fresh as hell. Mmm. That is freaking amazingly delicious. Um packed full of flavor. You get a little bit of the seasoning in it. A little bit of that charred flavor from the dogs getting charred on the in the uh skillet. Tastes hint, hints of the uh, seasoning, a little bit of ketchup flavor, a little bit of mustard flavor, definitely cheesy flavor. Unbelievable. Look at the bird nest. The bird nest is catching something there. It's got it. I see it. It's gone. Clean the old bird nest bib. Anyway, thanks for joining us on another episode of The Ghetto Gourmet. Until next time. I hope you enjoy cooking Ghetto Fabulous style. Hi, and thanks for watching another episode of The Ghetto Gourmet. If you like that video, subscribe. Click that little subscribe button, please. And if you enjoyed it, there's a little like button down there. Give me the thumbs up. And if you have a comment, there's a section down there, comment section. Leave a comment. I reply to all my comments. Um, if there's something you want me to try to cook, you know, just name it, put it down there. I'll give it a try. Um, also, uh, I have two other web series. The comics from a can, from the can and also white trash guide to buffets across america give those a, a view check them out think you may enjoy them until next time enjoy cooking ghetto fabulous style